Today, we're exposing all the hottest influencer things in LA. We're talking $17 smoothies, crazy makeup, fun shoes, and today's episode of exposing things so you don't actually have to go to them. I wanted to figure out if all this stuff is kind of worth the money or if it's just marketing and packaging hype. So the first place I obviously had to go was Get Breakfast. I decided to go to Erewhon, one of the world's most expensive grocery stores. Don't quote me on that, I didn't fact check, but it seems like it. They have $20 soups, $40 sea moss gel, and a bunch of ingredients that I can never really pronounce. What am I here for? The famous Hailey Bieber skin smoothie. That's $17, plus tip obviously. I have to tip everybody because they spin the little iPad thing around and I must tip them, even if they don't do nothing except hand me a water. America. Not only is Erewhon really fun to go grocery shopping in, it's also perfect to go sugar daddy shopping in. Once I was there, I galloped to the counter and waited in line like a good girl. All the other people that were there were also there for Hailey Bieber's $17 skin smoothie. Was this skin smoothie gonna have a crazy great effect on my skin? Was I gonna stop getting pimples, perhaps chin hairs? Was I gonna glow like Hailey Bieber or perhaps even attract Justin Bieber? This beautiful concoction of pink and white and cream not mixed together really piqued my interest. While I was waiting, I also had to pick up some other groceries, namely vitamins and two sushi rolls for me and my driver. Um, I ended up spending $200 at this grocery store, but I did in fact buy Kira and her rat flowers. So worth it. The Hailey Bieber skin smoothie tasted like a cream glazed jelly strawberry donut. It was probably the most delicious thing I've ever tasted and if I had an unlimited trust fund, you bet your cute little booty I would be here every single day. This one is walnut approved. Do I think it's worth the money? No. Do I want it? Yes. Kind of how guys feel about me being their girlfriends. Do you want me? Yes. Am I worth the heartache? Probably not. <laughs> the next store that I had to go to was Nordstrom because apparently they have skims in real life. And I wanted to see what these products look like because to be very honest with you guys, I've never ordered anything from there. I've seen a lot of YouTuber reviews, but to be fair, I don't really get it. Like why are we shoving ourselves into hot dog tubes to fit into dresses? Like why can't we just buy dresses that are bigger sizes? Clothes are meant to fit us. We are not meant to fit clothes. So why am I gonna buy more clothes to make myself fit clothes that don't fit? Like, no. How about you make the clothes bigger? Anyway, that's my gripe with shapewear. I just don't like it. It also makes me hot. I also feel like it rolls up on my thighs and then I get like a thigh roll. I just don't like the vibes. But I didn't want to check it out. So we went to the Grove, which I would say is kind of like a shopping Disneyland. They even have like a trolley and they have all your favorite stores like Sephora, Aritzia, random little sunglass stores and hat stores. They have a Charlotte Tilbury. A lot of cool people walking around. I literally felt like I was in Disneyland. They also have valet parking, which from what I remember when Kira Ballet was like 60 or $80, like something that I thought was obscene. So I walked into Nordstrom looking for skims, but I did get distracted by the shiny shoes because like Ariel, I do get distracted by nice shiny things. That's why I'm collecting engagement rings right now. So if you'd like to propose, cough it up. After looking at kind of like the cool designer section, I couldn't really find it, so I asked someone where it was and they said it was in the lingerie and intimate section, which I guess is fair. It goes underneath your clothes. I got there, wasn't impressed. It kind of reminded me of like when my mom used to take me to like Kmart and there used to be like a spank section and like nude bras. Didn't really love it. There was no like cool marketing or anything, but I didn't need to buy something so I could show you guys. I ended up picking a really soft pajama situation. It did cost $160 I think, like an obscene amount. I love this pajama. It's incredibly comfortable, soft. It's like what my pajama dreams are made of. However, Target makes similar buttery soft pajamas for about $35. I'm a label whore. I like the Skims one. Would I buy it again? No. Did I already probably lose it? Yeah. Whose house is it at? I don't know. Then another thing I wanted to try out was like one of the influencer brands that I've been seeing around lately. It's called Dream Pairs. They have a website. They're sponsoring today's video and they sent me something so I could show you guys in it. If you guys do like any of these shoes, you can use the code Blair for 30% off, which is massive because look at all these cute things you can get um, for the first month that this video is posted. But after that, you still will get a 15% discount. So if you do like something, the cool thing I like about them is that they have free shipping. I'm a sucker for free shipping on orders over $50. If you do use a 30% discount, you are still likely to get free shipping. I personally got the open toe chunky high heel sandals, which are so cute for a day out. And I don't know if it's because I live in Miami, so I'm absolutely delusional, but I feel like this is a totally fine daytime outfit, like for a lunch date or something. I also got the knee
knee-high riding boots, yee-haw. And one time I read that Bella Hadid is a horse girl, so now I'm officially a horse girl, so get it together boys, buy me a horsey. The ankle strap stiletto stylish high heel sandals. I feel like every girly needs a pair of these really simple black elegant heels in their closet. I have a pair like this that's very expensive that I ruined after going out about three times. So I would definitely recommend getting a more affordable pair like the one from Dream Pairs. They match with literally everything. They go with every single outfit. You can wear it with jeans, heels, skirts, dresses, and you can wear them anytime day or night. And the house indoor slippers because you guys know I'm a sucker for slippers so I had to get those. My recommendation is always get slippers, never be barefoot, live, laugh, love. Your feet will thank you. It's so comfortable, especially if you're working from home. So thank you Dream Pairs for sponsoring that portion of the video. They also released a bunch of really cute boots recently which we can all wear during the fall. They have high rise and low rise and ankle boots and like cowboy vibe boots but they also have a ton of other super stylish and interesting shoes that you can get for a really affordable price. $25 to $35 is what you're going to pay if you end up using my discount code. So please check them out down below if you want any kind of shoe. The next store I wanted to go to was House of CB. Now this store is iconic, beautiful, aesthetic, insane. I went here with me after she got her hair done. Yes, she did look like a bouncy hair queen. Love that for her. The only thing is it was 6.30, right? The store closes at 7. They had already closed the fitting rooms, so I had to play a little bit of a guessing game for what would look good on me. I did buy a size small in all things because I just figure that's what I typically buy in Revolve. Some things fit me perfectly, and some things I wore to swim week, and some things are kind of tight on me. And I can't return them because I'm obviously not in LA anymore. So. I would like it if their sizing is equal across the board, however I do understand that different fabrics have different types of materials so you can't exactly have the same size. It would have been nice for them to let us try things on since they were not closed yet. I would have still left exactly when they closed, um, so I didn't really appreciate that, but I did appreciate the outfits. One of my favorites is this beautiful satin pajama looking thing with florals, also this dark gray satin long sleeve paired with a mini skirt. And I also love that every single piece has a matching piece so I don't have to sit there and play fashionista stylist even though I was called the style icon by a magazine. So there we go, here we go. Um, and I also helped Mia choose some dresses. She went with a flowy rich housewife green dress and also a meet your parents dress. We both wanted to get this dress in case someone wants to introduce us to their parents. But in typical Blair and Mia fashion, of course it is still corseted, strapless and squishes our boobs together. I'm gonna meet your parents, but I'm still gonna be hot, okay, hun? <laughs> the final store that we went is the Amazon Techie store. Now, this store is insane and deserves a whole video to itself. Basically, it's where fashion and technology meet. Here are the negatives that I'm just gonna spit out really quickly. You have to have an Amazon account to shop here. You have to have a lot of phone battery on your phone, which is really difficult to me. You gotta get onto the Wi Fi. You have to have a working camera on your phone. But other than that, everything is good. The outfits are put together for you. You can just snap a photo of them and they go directly to your dressing room. You don't have to pull them off the rack. Things on the rack are just samples. You choose your size and they get sent to the dressing room, which will be ready in about 10 or 15 minutes. They have a plethora of employees there to help you figure out how it works. And if your phone is dead or not working, they will use their phones to do it. A creepy thing I didn't realize I was doing is I gave Jeff Bezos the entire fingerprints of both of my hands because there was this cool little machine thing and it was like, you can pay using just your palm. And I was like, that's cool. I can scan my palm and pay. I don't have to pull my card out every time. So I gave him the entire fingerprints of both of my hands. So apparently I can't commit crimes anymore unless I'm using gloves. <clears throat> Whoopsies. <laughs> This store has not only clothes, makeup, shoes, but also men's fashion. They have this really cool looking techy area in the bottom. Um, and the dressing rooms are really incredible. It comes with like this closet. You know how when we were kids, I okay, I don't know if you guys had this dream, but I had this dream that my house would have like this like little food elevator thing in it and you could like send food from up and down and I could just like sit in it and I could get sent up and down the house. Literally, I don't know why that's my dream. My dream house would have that, okay? So anyway, that's how the closet felt because the closet door would lock and then all of a sudden a bunch of things would like slide in or up. I don't know if it's going up or down or sideways, but a bunch of things would just come in, be hung on the rack, be organized for you, and then you can just try them on and wear them. It was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. And also they had a computer screen in the fitting room so that if you wanted a different size or a different outfit or something to match it with, 
they could just bring it directly to your room. You didn't have to talk to a person. So it's cool because if you're socially anxious, it's really easy to try stuff in there. I'll make a whole video about that later. So let me know what you guys exactly want to see. But that's that. The next thing we obviously had to go check out was the Glossier store. Glossier was massive, massive, massive a few years back. Like every single girl was wearing it. It was all over YouTube. Every single collection would be all over YouTube. Um, but personally, I always found their products to be very beautiful, aesthetic, creamy. They work well, but they're really for girls that like the no makeup makeup look, which is not me. If I'm putting time into doing my makeup, I want it to look like I did my makeup. I am not a natural girly. I do wear fake eyelashes to the beach. I do have hair extensions. Um, I get laser. I have acrylics on. Like, I don't want to be a natural girly. I feel like I like to customize my avatar to the maximum. I understand that I could be a natural girly if I wanted to. I just don't want to. And I feel like Glossier is like forcing me to be a natural girly, but spend the same amount of time doing my makeup. I will say that their store is one of the most beautiful aesthetic dream stores I've ever seen in my entire life. The flower selection they have is insane. The selection of things they have, sinks and little mirrors, an interesting marketing thing I noticed that they did is that they put all of their employees in like kind of a lab coat situation to give it a more elevated like ingredients are natural and healthy in here. How can we help you? Like that's the vibes they were giving. It was like Kiehl's also does that, which I think is interesting. Um, and there was a bunch of people just taking photos. They had a huge seating area with like a marble thing. I really enjoyed that. I really liked it. Finally, obviously, if you're in LA, please do not forget to go to In-N-Out. I couldn't end this video without mentioning my favorite food in the whole world. Literally, in and out double double animal style with chilies is my dream last week. Like if I was on death row for said crimes I committed because of the Amazon store, here's what I would eat. I would want a beef tartare, that's for sure. With extra mustard, I would want fries with mayonnaise and also an in and out burger double double animal style fries with chilies all together. That would be my dream last meal. And I bought an entire bottle of tequila. And a babe. That would make me very happy any day. So, <laughs> let me know what your dream last meal would be down below in the comments. But let me know what you guys think of these stores. Are they overhyped? Are they walnut approved? I would say that Skims is not walnut approved. I do not love their prices for their quality or what they're selling. I just don't get it. It's very plain and neutral. Kind of like my apartment. But I do like that. So. But once again, can get similar things at Target. I understand that they are a little bit more aesthetic, but I wasn't really wowed. The Dream Pairs are Walnut approved. I love every single shoe I got. House of CB is Walnut approved. The outfits are amazing. Try to get them online. Um, the only thing is, please let me try stuff on. I was really hurt by that. You really hurt my feelings. <laughs> Glossier is not Walnut approved. I'm sorry, that's the only thing on here that I don't really like love. I realize that I'm probably dropping a huge Glossier bag from a sponsorship from them, but I just do not like the you no know, makeup makeup look. It is not for me. And finally, in and out is seriously Walnut approved. I love that place. Like I prefer in and out over a nice fancy dinner anywhere. Please, if you ever see me in LA or Vegas or Utah, please take me to in and out and I will be very happy, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you a lot and I'll see you next time. Have a really fun day. Bye.